So now we have net beans open and ready to go. All right, net beans. So I'm going to maximize this and I'm going to take my panel away so that we have the whole screen to work with. So Brian, what do we do now? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open a new project. So we'll go to File, New Project. And let's call this project, uh, we're gonna, since we're going to be creating a multiplication table and it's just going to be a regular application, we'll leave it as a general Java application and hit next. Okay, and the project name, we will just call it tables. And uh, we'll leave it the project location in our home directory, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so we're going to set this as the main project and we're going to create the main class as tables.main, that's fine. Finish. We'll, hit, we'll hit finish. Very straightforward. Super. Okay, so it already kind of like creates the general skeleton for our main .java file. Uh, we pretty much have uh, the tables package when we have the, the public main class. And below that, we have our public static void main and the string with the args. That's the central void main call, kind of like on C++, you do the void main. In Java, it's always public static void main. That's the standard main function. Okay, so inside those brackets is where we're going to actually write the program. So, so I'm erase this comment. Right. So we're going to. So let's do a forward slash forward slash print header. Like this. Yep. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to print a line. We're just going to print a line of text. Okay. Okay. So the way we do this is system with a capital S dot out dot print ln. As you see, it's already automatically trying to figure out what we're doing. <laughs> and we'll do a left parenthesis and a quote. And it automatically fills out the end of the quote for us, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Okay, so now let's say, um, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Uh, colon. Like this? Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, now at the end we'll do a semicolon. And uh, let's do a control S to save it. Control S. All right, now let's go to the top. Uh, the top menu under run. And run main project, or F6. So we're going to have a little output on the bottom, compile, run, and it says, hello. Right there. Hello. All right. So that's our program. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. So now we're going to uh, add some add some stuff to this. Let's change hello colon to addition table colon. Okay. So now this in this tutorial, we're going to assume that you can program in some other language to some degree and that you're familiar with the concepts of for loops and while loops and things of that nature. And if you're not, I would recommend uh, taking a look at some of our other tutorials, such as a C++ tutorial. Yeah, and also we have a great JavaScript crash course, Yes. which uh, the syntax is relatively the same. It's a good introduction to what we're doing to here. So yep. we definitely highly recommend the JavaScript crash course right. series. So we're just going to kind of jump right in. Okay, so um, we're going to do a, a pretty standard for loop. So let's, uh, on the next line, let's do a four. And then left parenthesis int i equals zero, just like C++, semicolon, uh, where i is less than equal to 10, semicolon, i++. Plus plus. And we'll do some brackets below that. All right, so now inside this bracket, uh, since this is going to be a table, we want a nested for loop. Just, all right, I'm just going to add some space here. That way we can separate the right. function from the for loop. Okay, I'm Okay. Sorry, so now we're going to do a nested for loop. Okay. So dokey. inside this, we're going to do for int j equals zero. And all the rest of the same. J equals zero, where J is less than or equal to ten. Semicolon J plus plus. Okay, so we have two loops running, one of I zero through ten, and every time it increments by one, it's gonna run J zero through ten. So every time J runs, we want to print out J plus I, and then we'll add a tab so it makes all of those in a record. Whoa, look at all this stuff <laughs> popping up. So we'll do system dot out dot print line. Uh, well actually we don't want to do a print line, we just want to do a print. Because we a print line will create an enter at the end of the line. Okay. So we're going to do print, uh, left parenthesis, and now let's do a space, and uh, in parentheses, J plus I, and now after that, we're going to do a space plus, space quote, backslash T for a tab, and semicolon at the very end. Since we do want to have, like, an end of a line, uh, after this bracket, in the, the, loop, the for loop for I, we're going to do a system out print line and just quote quote to just do a uh, do like a new line dot print ln left parenthesis and quote quote okay so this should print out our basic addition table so let's do a control s to save and an f6 to okay so we got some sort of an error here let's see where our error is coming from 
So it looks like we may have one extra bracket. Sweet. So let's delete the... Let's go down one more bracket and get rid of that. This one? Yep. All right, let's save that and try to run it again. All right, Control S and then F6. All right, there we go. So now we have our basic 1 to 10 addition table. Great. So 10 plus 10 is 20, bottom right. Perfect. So if we replace the plus with the mul with a, an asterisk, we'll have a multiplication table, and that's, that's about it. Let's do it. All right. Times. Now let's uh, change the word addition to multiplication. Am I spelling correct? Yep. Control S, F6. Here we have a basic multiplication table. And there it goes. Written in Java. So welcome to Java, ladies and gentlemen.